I wasn't gonna vlog once again, but I came out with my friends and they're watching my vlog for the first time. And because they're all in it in this video and they're freaking out. And <laughs> just watch. I'm never wearing this outfit ever again! You never How do you feel that we all saw you in your towel? Um you're welcome. Uh, uh, he looks good, it's fine. No, I, no, I, <laughs> far from good, but you're welcome And so. why? It always looks like a model to me. Oh. I tap that. So our friend Erica just left us, and he's gonna call her. Hey. Hey. How are you? Good. Oh, it's been like 30. <laughs> It's been a minute, Erica. Okay, I'm gonna come back. I just got a drink real quick. I, I, I see your drink. You're at the end of the bar right there. Um, yeah, oh, here's, here's the, oh, here's your other drink that you left behind. Oh. This was your drink that I I got a drink called the Porn Star. Yeah, try it. <laughs> he thought I was a porn star, so he made me a drink. No, he didn't. Stop lying. <laughs> That was a joke. He did not think I was a porn star. That was just my joke. So we're gonna try it. Do I, sir? Excuse me? Don't bring him into this. Just drink it. How do I do this? Drink it. Oh. That don't pour. Obviously, I can't pour one into the other. Try not to knock that over. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> oh. Yeah. She's a porn star. She needs a second sip. I do like it. Okay. I do like it. Now, I was just. Welcome back, brothers. It is Friday night. I went out last night and I shouldn't have because I got no sleep and I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning for work and then I spent the whole day after my shift sleeping. But now I'm gonna get ready to go out <laughs> to eat with my cousins because it was one of my cousin's birthdays yesterday, so we were going to go out to this place called the Ivy in Huntington, but she says she's not feeling it and doesn't really want to do that, so we're just going to go get pho, which is fine by me because I don't want to get dressed up right now. So let's put together a fit for pho. Okay, so this is what we got going on. I'm wearing these Aber, not Abercrombie, American Eagle wide-legged jeans. They're so comfy. And I'm wearing these like Ugg dupes from Amazon. Uh, this is from Target. Yeah, you already know. This is from Anthropology. This bag is so cute. I literally only got it because I needed a bag to fit this camera. Um, and it's styling, so we're good. I also just got these bangles from J. Crew. They were they were on sale. I got two of them, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them because they make a lot of noise. But I'm gonna wear this and see like if I like it. Okay, let's go get some faux. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? The same thing? Yeah. And this is pickled carrots and pickled onions. That's her only meal. <laughs> hey. So, I'm back. I forgot to mention that I literally have work. At 7 a.m. Yep, on a Saturday. I'm on call 
for a Saturday shift at 7 a.m. because of the whole Israel-Hamas war and they think that Israel's going to invade soon so once that happens we are live. Ow. So we're on standby for that and hopefully they don't invade because not trying to wake up early and plus we don't need this war to escalate more than it already is so we'll find out tomorrow if i get to sleep in or not <laughs> Hey guys, it feels so good waking up not hungover. I feel so refreshed and like I can just do anything today. I ended up passing out so early. I think it was like 11.45. I was on the phone with Matt and like I don't even remember saying but I just fell asleep. He's up in Vermont right now fixing up his house up there they have a house for that they use when they go up skiing and stuff so there was flooding not too long ago and it fucked the entire first floor like everything just got ruined and wet and everything so they have to literally rip out the floors paint the walls buy new furniture and i'm just like wow but I wanted to do like a no alcohol weekend like I wanted to do like a sober weekend where I just don't drink which I'm kind of doing it without even trying because yesterday was Friday like Thursday I drank okay my bad but the weekend starts Fridays and I didn't drink yesterday I thought I was but luckily my cousin didn't feel like it so we didn't and today's Saturday I don't have any plans I'm gonna do like a reorganization video. So I'm gonna fix up my room and you guys are gonna watch and finally try to find a place to put my big ass mirror that I got two weeks ago. And yeah, we're gonna just do that. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hands. You know what I read or heard on a podcast that the back of your hands are like the number one spot where you're going to get wrinkles because we don't like worry about it. Like we're already putting SPF on our face. Like obviously we don't want our face to get wrinkles, but we forget about our hands. But these are like the most exposed parts of our bodies as well. Like think about it like when you're driving or when you're literally just texting and walking like your hands are exposed and so it's important to put spf on it i'm putting some on right now because i have to do a bunch of errands like return stuff and then do a little shopping which i really shouldn't be 
but I just did my expenses and I'm on par with like how much I should be saving so I could splurge a little but I shouldn't so <laughs> let's be smart but before I get my day started I'm going to put on this eye stuff under my eyes because I can't for the life actually I don't have that many under bags I slept nine hours last night wild oh and I forgot to tell you I didn't get into I didn't get called into work how amazing i set my alarm for seven though just in case because i sleep like a rock nothing can wake me up so i sent my alarm just in case i got an email saying i have to come into work and i didn't so i'm getting paid right now for doing nothing <laughs> it's the only good thing about being on call because when things really don't happen then you're, you're still gonna get paid but i don't have to work Okay, so I'm going to do some reading and eat some food, and then we can start doing our things. Okay, we're ready to go do some errands. I just threw on this, like, cute little sweater that I got from Old Navy as a gift. I'm also wearing my aloe sweatpants that cost $100, and my new sneakers. How awesome are they? So cute. And... Put on earrings just because I looked empty. But yeah, let's go. Also, aren't you in love with this bag? Like, how cute is this bag? I'm so happy that I bought it. 128 people, 128. Instead of paying $3,000 for like the original one that I don't even know what it's called. But okay, bye. We did some damage, unfortunately. I went, I, I always hate how I go return stuff and then I buy things. I got a few basic tops that are essentials and then I want this thing from Free People so bad so I think I'm gonna order it online. I'm bad. And now we're going to my favorite store ever, Tarjay. God listen to me because the sun is out and yes this is me going to another target because I couldn't find something so now I need to go here hi I'm in the fitting room at target the second target I'm so happy I had this in my bag because I'm starving I think I'm gonna get core after this I have a problem because I'm trying on all that. Someone must stop me. I'm back. Okay, so I did some damage and I returned everything I had to return, but we got some stuff along the way. I'll show you first what I got at Zara. So, this is, this is not good. <sighs> so, we always need the basics. I got a $10 t-shirt. This is always perfect. You wear it with the blazer, jean jacket. Perfect. So, 10 bucks. Not bad. And then, I saw this cool turtleneck long sleeve. Perfect for this season. But it has like these cool linings like up here. And it just gives me, gives my vibes. So I got this. And then I had to get one in gray. So that I could wear like more things with it. I love it. Those were 25 each. Oops. Um, and then I got this dress. Okay, I am going to style it for you. So you could see my vision. But this is what it looks like right now. So it's a dress. 
I'm going with the turtlenecks for right now because, you know, it's cold out now, so the turtleneck gives the little warm vibes. I don't know, but this is what they're selling. So I got this. Maybe I could wear it with some boots and a leather jacket over it. Okay, so that's Zara. Now we went to Target. Target isn't that cheap, to be honest. It's not. But because it's Target, you feel like it is, so you want to buy more. Because it's like, oh my god, it's cheap Target, like whatever. And then my bill comes to like just as much as I spent at Zara. It's crazy. But, okay, so I've been looking for this type of jean jacket. I have like so many jean jackets. It's disgusting. But they're all different in its own way. So I needed this one specifically. I saw it at Madewell. They didn't have the, the shade of blue that I wanted. It had a lighter blue, but I want this blue because for fall. And it was 100 bucks. So I found this for $28. How insane. And it's even better because it's not like a simple jean jacket with the buttons. It has a zip up. It's like a zipper. How amazing. And it's oversized. I got a size large. I went to two Targets because one of them didn't have a large, I mean a medium. And I wanted to make sure that the large was the best one for me. So then I found the medium at the other Target and compared the, the two. And I went with the large. I kept the large because I just figured it was, I just love the oversized look. Then we got this cute little sweater. It's a black sweater. Um, it zips up as well. It's kind of tight, so different from my oversized vibe, but I liked it and it goes well with like flowy pants and stuff. So great buy. And then I am still unsure about this. I have to figure out how to I will style this because it's a little out there. So it's a denim dress. Okay. Denim dress not tight pretty baggy but i'm thinking maybe a belt and boots or no belt and boots we'll see i spent 104 dollars at zara and about 90 bucks at target with all this so almost 200 dollars um okay so the goal right now is to put the big mirror that i got right here put this mirror here because this is where I have my light coming so that's what makes sense but the problem is is that I have this with a bunch of junk that I don't need and maybe need like a few things from here so I have to figure out what I want to do with this Okay, so I have this little closet in here that's full of my shit and I'm throwing out a bunch of stuff that I just don't need. Sorry, there's like a hair. I thought it was a spider. Um, but look what I found in there. All my favorite DVDs and CDs that I used to watch as a kid. The Click. The Click. I have Legally Blonde 2. Keeper by the Dozen. Oh my god. Hannah Montana. The best thing ever. Of course, Twilight. Another Hannah Montana. Oh my god. Who remembers the DC nin Nintendo shit? This game was like the only game I played. Oh my god. More Miley Cyrus. Hannah Montana. Oh my god, I can't. Here we go again. And another one. Victoria's. The best thing ever. Oh my god. I can't. I don't know if I should show this. But this was like one of my best friends in elementary school that I'm not friends with anymore. And she had like her birthday tunes. Ah. Britney Spears, baby, one more time. Mean Girls. Okay, this was my shit. I, I don't even think it's in. Oh, it's not in here. I'm so sad right now. I don't know where it is. Okay, that's so sad. And Hilary Dove. Oh my god. She was the shit. Wait, I need to find the Mean Girls CD. This is so bad.
I knocked out so hard last night. You don't even know. I fixed that whole area. And that took so much energy out of me. Now, today, we're going to fix my clothes. I have to put all my fall clothes and take out all my summer clothes. And I'm going to throw out a bunch of shit because I have to, way too much clothes. And I low-key am a hoarder because I don't like to throw out my clothes. But I have to. I'm going to give it to my little cousins first to see if they want anything. And then I am putting it to the garbage. Just kidding, not the garbage. I'm donating it. But first, I have to go get blood work done. I know, so random. So let's go do that. Rude. So rude. And that was so awkward. Um, I guess they don't work on Saturdays and Sundays. I'm so confused though, I have to get my blood work done and it's only in the mornings that you're supposed to go because you're not supposed to eat or drink anything 12 hours beforehand and I work Monday through Friday um, starting at 5 a.m. so I can't come until after my shift and I cannot eat until after my shift, like I'm starving by 7 a.m. so this is like really bad. I got Duncan on my way back because I was so mad that they're not open on Saturdays and Sundays like I'm so confused I ordered hash browns and they accidentally gave me two orders of hash browns that's like good and bad so I shouldn't be eating these oh yeah so I have high cholesterol as I'm eating these um and mmm so good that's why I have to get my blood work done because ever since I was little I always have high cholesterol and I know you're thinking like how so skinny healthy well it's genetics at this point the doctor said like clearly you know you're not unhealthy so your body just genetically loves storing the fat in your blood vessels and that's why you have cholesterol so they want to put me on medication so bad and i'm like i don't want to go on cholesterol medication so i've been trying to fight it and just eating healthy and working out and like trying to bring it down on my own and it goes down sometimes but then it goes back up so it's like i just can't control it as much because it's just my body so I'm doing this one last blood work to see how bad it is. Maybe it's down. I don't know. But if it's high, I'm just going to go do the medication because I... She's like, if you don't go on it now, like, by 30s, you might have a heart attack or some sort of heart disease. I'm like, great. Perfect. <laughs> and I don't have anxiety. Like, I don't suffer from anxiety or, like, depression or anything. So the fact that that's something that i'm very prone to is wild because i never had like a panic attack so now i will probably but anyways let's get to some more organization <laughs>
I just put all the clothes that I'm donating in the car. There's a literally like five bags. How insane is this? Hey, it's me. Okay, so, so far, I organized my shoes as well. I didn't record it though because it happened really fast and it was in the moment. But I threw out a few pairs that I just never wore and they were just getting dusty. This also has a whole other side to it in the back. Like some of my summer shoes and other shoes that I don't wear but I can't part ways with. Yeah, I, I know I have a problem. Also, there was a fucking cricket somewhere and I can't. I don't know where it is. Um, but <clears throat> what I did yesterday was I emptied out all of this and this is ideally where the mirror is going to go, like behind this and then that's all that's going to be here. And, but my mom said she doesn't want to throw this out and wants to use it for another part of the house so that's going to get moved soon and then we'll push the mirror back and then... This is my desk for work that I took a makeshift desk that I put here because when I started working from home, it was obviously pandemic times and it was not going to be a permanent thing. But now that it is, I didn't really design my room to accommodate a desk. So for now, this is going to stay how it is. I usually just flip it over and when I'm going to use the mirror, but I also organize all my clothes here all my clothes here all the fall things and then i have another over here i know i have a lot of clothes i also use a part of my mom's closet but that's another story i also have this closet here we have some ugg boots over there i have some like work clothes slash summer clothes that i didn't want to put away in a box i have my pants my jeans my tank tops, my long sleeves, my going out tops, and other stuff. I have all my sweaters here, all not color coded because that's OD. I have another few sweaters in there, and then I have more going out clothes in there, and then my scarves and gloves on the bottom, and then more shoes. Yay! And then this closet is storage. I put a bunch of my shit here so everything that was over there I kind of shoved into here and threw out a bunch of shit which is what I was doing yesterday and then here are my purses I have a bunch of other purses over there in the closet I have and don't be fooled because I have two boxes full of clothes these are a bunch of sweaters that are thick and all my summer shit and plus all the clothes in my mom's room yeah I have a problem um, it's so funny, my cousin came to go through all my stuff that I'm throwing out and she only took one thing or two things, I don't even know, but all the stuff was trash. Like, uh, they had stains, like, and there's probably a bunch of other shit too that I should get rid of, but I just, uh, I'm a clothes hoarder for sure. Or I could just do what Kim K does and buy storage units and just store my clothes and label it with dates because it's honestly clothes are part of life they're like memories you know like one day when i grow up i want to show my kids like this is what i wore the shit out of in high school thinking i was hot but it's disgusting and don't ever wear that in your life so maybe i'll do that just finished writing my to-do list for the week and i'm gonna end the vlog here because i have to go to bed and Thanks for watching.